Good morning, everybody. Let's join together as we sing this song as we start out today. And who am I that the highest king would welcome me? I was lost, but he brought me in. Oh, his love for me. Yes, his love. worship this morning with the invocation in the name of God the Father in the name of his son Jesus in the name of God the Spirit let us join our thankful voices We now read Psalms 46 responsively. God is our refuge and strength. He is like a place to call home. A listening ear. Things can go wrong in our world. Our scripture reading today is a short one, and I'd like to like us all to read it together. From Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Good morning, everyone. You can have a seat. Yeah, that was a pretty short scripture reading this morning. Will you say it again with me? Because I think we're all pretty familiar with Philippians 4.13, aren't we? I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Now, I've got a little challenge set up this morning, and, and I've already asked someone to come up here and help me, so I'm going to ask Trent 
Trent, come on up here. Trent's agreed to give me a hand today. And, and I've got some materials up here. And, and what I've got are just some regular straws. Now at my house, we buy the milkshake straws because if you're gonna make, if you're gonna go through the trouble and make a milkshake and you put an Oreo cookie crumbled up in it or you put the you know, Girl Scout cookie thin mints crumbled. If you're gonna make a milkshake, you need a decent straw to enjoy that milkshake. Am I right, guys? You can't use the thin, bendy straws on a milkshake. It's gotta be, it's gotta be a real straw. So Trent, you're gonna use that straw. And the other object we have up here is a regular old potato. The kind of potato that I ask my wife to, you know, put it in the oven, bake it up, I slather it with butter, sour cream, some cheese, some barbecue beef. I'm getting hungry. I need to stay on task here, don't I? So Trent, your challenge this morning is to take that straw and I want you to push that straw through this potato. Think you can do that, Trent? He thinks he can, all right? I think it's a pretty simple task. Trent, I'm gonna let you get to work on it. There's the potato, you've got the straw. And Trent, if you mess up or you got a question, you know, just get my attention. I'll, I'll answer a question. If you break that straw, grab another one, all right? So Trent, pretty easy task. I'll let you get started. Yeah, it probably won't take him very long, all right? Good luck, Trent. Keep, keep going, keep going. Now, now that I got Trent started on this very easy task, I'm gonna be honest with the rest of you guys. What Trent is trying to do is actually very hard. That's a pretty tough challenge to take a straw, little thin plastic thing, and try to cram it through a potato. It's really hard to do. In fact, it's almost impossible to do. And sometimes, isn't that the way it is? Sometimes we're given a job to do by a parent or we're given an assignment to do by a teacher or a coach asks us to do something that we've never done before and we're a little afraid, we're a little timid, we're not quite sure if we have what it takes to get that job done, we're afraid we're gonna fail, All right? And it's true, there are some things that we simply cannot do on our own. And we try, and we put in some effort, and we're working it, and we start to we can't get it done, we can't get it done, we start to get frustrated, we, we cry out, oh my goodness, this is so hard, this seems impossible, I'm never gonna get this done. And you know what, that's right. There are some things that we cannot do on our own. Trent, how's it going? You doing all right? You, have you made any progress yet? You get, okay, oh yeah, okay, he's got a little, he's got a little hole started, he's got a little bore started there. He might, he might do this. Oh, he's going long ways, that's pretty interesting. So we face these challenges that sometimes seem impossible, but we know we have a friend. We know that when we ask God to help us, we can do incredible things. When we call on God to help us with our problems, to help us with our challenges, to help us with assignments we don't understand, he always provides some way for us to get that done. Sometimes he helps us by giving us a new way to think about the problem. Sometimes he helps us by having a friend show up who already knows how to do that, and they give us help. Sometimes we get help from a parent. Sometimes we get help from a teacher or a coach. Sometimes it's a boost of confidence that we need. But in all those cases, it's because we've called on God for help. Now, God's not a servant. We just don't get to call God's name, and he shows up, and he does whatever we want for us and helps us get our things done. He's not a genie, you know, that pops up out of the lamp and gives us three, three wishes that he has to grant us. It's not like that at all. It's because of our faith in his son, Jesus Christ, he blesses us with the abilities, the talents to do things, the intellect to think of new ways to solve a problem, the strength to overcome adversities. Just like we, we just read in, that, in, in Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Well, Trent, let's see how you've done. You've had enough time. Did you get the straw all the way through? Almost, almost. Let me, can I take a look at, see what you got here? All right, so he's tried a couple of different places, a couple of attempts here and there, but here at the top, let's see how, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take your straw out and show everybody how, how far, okay, so Trent, Trent got about that far with a really, really difficult task. Pretty impressive, right? 
But you know what? If we ask God for help, if we ask God for help, we can do incredible things because I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Say it with me. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Oh, I missed. And you can do things that just a few minutes ago seemed impossible or overwhelming, things that we were not able to do. But through Christ's strength, through faith in him, our Father in heaven grants us the power, the strength, the intellect to get all kinds of things done. Can we give Trent a big round of applause and thank him for helping me out this morning? Thank you, Trent. At this time, I'm going to ask everybody to please stand, and Mary Catherine's going to lead us in our prayers this morning. Let us bow our hands and hearts in prayer. Almighty God, grant us a steady faith in your dear Son, Jesus Christ, a cheerful hope in your mercy, and in sincere love for you and one another. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, as you bless your children with various and unique gifts, grant us the grace to faithfully use those talents to honor your, glory, your, your honor and glory. Lord, in your mercy. Heavenly Father, because of your love toward us sinners, you have given us your Son, that believing in him we might have eternal life. Lord, in your mercy. We pray these things in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who has taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now receive the benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Amen. We're going to sing our theme song for the year, Reason. This year's felt like four seasons of winter And you give anything to feel the sun Always reaching, always climbing Always second guessing the timing God has a plan and a purpose for you Don't let a child and don't you forget He put that hunger in your heart Put that fire in your soul the reason keep on believing and when you feel like giving up when you feel like giving in this love is the reason to keep on believing if we could fall back the curtain of heaven we would see his hand on everything, every hour, every minute, every second, he's always in it. Don't let the shadow of doubt take hold. Hold on to what you already know. You put that hunger in your heart, put that fire in your soul. The love is the reason to keep on believing. And when you feel like giving up. in the madness that you 
can't explain He's the hope in the heartbreak A rest for the suffering He's closer than the air you breathe Start to the end, to the in-between He put that hunger in your heart He put that fire in your soul Cause love is a reason To keep on believing And when you feel like giving up When you feel like giving in Well, good morning, everybody. Who's ready to have some fun? All right, well, this Saturday, uh, Sunday, Sunday is the color run. And the color runs, yeah, it's one of those days you just get to make a mess of things and, and where it shows our spirit and everything. But I hope you are enjoying this beautiful weather that God has given us. God is good all the time. You know, I, if I was in class, I'd be working my teacher for a little extra recess on these beautiful days and being really good and doing everything I'm supposed to and saying it sure be nice to go outside. If we did our work first and did everything right and didn't give you a hard time, teacher, and obeyed and listened, could we earn? Yeah, that'd be awesome. You know, that'd be, that'd be a great day. Not that they, they have to do that, but I'm just saying that's what I would be doing when I was a kid because recess was... I have some good memories of recess here at Trinity. And I hope you are enjoying your day. I hope that you are caring and sharing for one another. Thank you for lifting up God. Thank you for being the best kids in the world. Thank you for supporting our, our um, the, with your chapel offerings and autism. Don't forget to keep that coming in. But just be nice to each other. That's all I got to say because God is good and all the time. So go out and have a great day. 